Hi, this is Ms. Delosier, and these are your notes on Introduction to Medical Microbiology. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what is medical microbiology? So um, after that, we're going to go into who studies medical micro, why do we study it, uh, where do we study it, and what knowledge will a student gain by taking this class? So what is medical microbiology. Medical microbiology is the study of microorganisms. It's that simple. And there are four big classes of microorganisms that we're going to talk about. Um, uh, a little later this week, we're going to go into a, a couple subtypes um, that are kind of interesting from a medical perspective. But the four main categories are bacteria, fungi, fungus, uh, parasites. Uh, typically, when we're talking about parasites, we're talking about worms or protozoas and viruses. Um, most of these can only be seen with a microscope. That's why we call it microbiology, because we have to view it through a microscope because all of these organisms are very small. Next, we're going to talk about uh, medical microbiology studies and how we actually study um, these microbes. And normally, for medical microbiology, we're talking about studying um, human blood and body fluids, and that's how we actually um, find these organisms, although sometimes we can find them on, on skin surfaces and on hairs, but um, typically human blood and body fluids. Uh, medical laboratory technicians and medical laboratory technologists perform these studies in the lab. Um, we'll be kind of touching on the edges of medical microbiology, but because I don't really want you guys being exposed to human blood or human body fluids in class, we're going to look at bacteria and we're going to look at um, at parasites, but we're going to look at them in prepared slide format. And the live specimens that you're looking at are going to be the ones that are going to be the non-virulent forms in class. So when we're talking about a laboratory technician or a medical laboratory technologist, we're talking about someone that has either had a two-year associates of science degree or a four-year bachelor's of science degree. And so that's very similar to what we talked about in pathophysiology with the uh, histotechnologist and the histotechnician. Microorganisms are important to study because they can cause diseases in humans. Uh, microbiologists are going to, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to determine the type of a microorganism that's causing the disease. Uh, and then they'll find a drug, it, usually an antibiotic if we're talking about a bacteria, that's going to inhibit the growth of the microorganism. Um, I would like to clarify at this point, I'm going to say it a bunch in the next two weeks, Antibiotics are only effective against bacteria. If you have a viral infection or a fungal infection, an antibiotic is not going to be effective. Um, microbiologists also are going to study microorganisms um, through research to determine new antibiotics. And if we're not talking about bacteria, they're going to go ahead and they're going to be studying these organisms to come up with new means to suppress fungus or viruses. So new antivirals or new antifungal medications. So uh, microorganisms are studied in clinical hospital laboratories, uh, in reference laboratories, and in research facilities. So all of the same locations that we talked about where you would need a histologist or histotechnician um, are going to be available for people that specialize in microorganisms also. Uh, the difference being instead of looking at tissue samples, you're really going to be looking at samples of microorganisms that typically come from fluids. Uh, at the end of this course, this is what you should hopefully know in nine weeks. You should know that normal flora of the human body, there are normal bacteria and fungus that are present um, on the body uh, and in the body. You should know the microbiological diseases um, disease states related to the human body. So specifically, you should know um, what types of diseases are caused by microorganisms and what are the symptoms of those microbiological diseases. Uh, you should understand what the media and agar are that are used to grow microorganisms and maybe not specifically which media or agar are necessary for all microorganisms, but you should understand that different different food is going to be appropriate for different microorganisms. Uh, you'll learn some of the biochemical reactions of microorganisms. Don't get scared. I'm not going to make you memorize detailed biochemical 
cycles and you're going to learn to identify microorganisms both using a dichotomous key and by running different experiments to test and see which microorganisms something could possibly be that's it i hope that was helpful <laughs>